friends, welcome to the channel Creative Art. My name is Thelma and today we are going to make this, this beautiful pot which you can use it as a candle stand as well as you can use it as the bottom of a lantern and this way you can use it as a decor and you can also use it as a flower vase. That's completely your decision how you can make the use of it. All the materials required to make this beautiful flower vase are mentioned in the description box below with their links from where you can also buy the materials required and to get the images of this beautiful pot decor please click on the link www.creativearthome.com which is also my website and please do not forget to subscribe my channel friends for more creative art videos here so friends first of all friends. i listed all the materials which we are going to require for this diy first of all we'll be requiring different shades of glass here i'm showing you two glass pots this is a small glass pot and this is a big fish bowl this is a glass chimney and this is a glass shade i'm going to design all this in different videos and for coloring we are going to use favorite glass colors which are water based and available tint shades water based colors do get dried up quickly and these are best for the beginners and if you want your things to be permanent do use Camelon glass color which are solvent based it takes time to get dried up but these are quite permanent okay so these are the difference between water based and solvent based colors and for lining we are going to use 261 metallic gold camelon glass liner and before starting any of the designing part we'll clean our glass things using clean mate okay we have to simply spray this clean mate on our glass in this way spread it out now using a napkin i'll wipe it in a very good way so that there are no stains or no dirt on it before we'll start designing in the same way i'm going to do the same thing with all the chimneys and the fish pots so that they are very clean and ready for use okay so let's start now we are also going to need a glass liner this is apsara glass marking white okay this is best to use on leather or any metal or glass you can, you can also make lines on glass or design on glass and after that use the liner i'm going to use a graph paper for perfect measurements on this glass now we are going okay. to start designing on our fishbowl pot this is the smaller size i'm using and the same shape we are going to make on the other side Okay, so these will be equal from both the sides when you look. I'll let it dry now using the same golden liner. We are going to make this kind of circles all over the fish pot, small or big, the size won't matter. Okay, in the same way I'll be making circles all over the pot and I'll show you how does it looks okay here friends this is how it looks when the whole design is completed and I have let it get dry for at least 12 to 15 hours and after that we are going to do the next part same using the 262 metallic gold camelon glass liner you always ask me that what I do with the remaining this much part whatever it is remaining in the tube which is not helpful for the lining part so here i do the filling if any of your tubes are remaining you can do this i'm going to fill up the remaining area other than this circular part using the same golden liner Okay friends, so in the same way, I'm going to fill up the whole design and I'll show you how does it looks, okay? So friends, this is how our pot will look when the design will get dried. We have left this area, I have as I have shown you in the previous part and I've let it get dry for at least 24 hours and only then we'll start coloring, okay? 
Here yeah, friends, this is how our pot looks when the whole designing part is completed. I have kept it for at least 24 hours to let it get dry completely. And now we are going to start coloring using Fabular glass colors which are water based and available in 10 shades. Okay. If you are quite expert in coloring and you want the color to be permanent, do use a solvent based color. And if you are a beginner, so do use a water based color. Okay. So I'm going to use three to four colors on this. We are going to use pink yellow purple and if needed ultramine blue. okay so what we have to do is alternately i'm going to fill up these circles using color avoid bubbles that may spoil your painting and try that your color may not get out of the circle now i'll dry it up and in the same way we'll do the coloring part and then immediately dry it using a dryer so that the color won't flow out okay Okay friends, so in the same way, I'm going to color the whole circular empty parts and then I'll show you how does it look, okay? So friends, after coloring this circles, I'm going to color this parts and I'm going to use purple color for coloring this zigzag empty part. Okay, in the same way, I'm going to color the next part and I'll show you how does it looks. Okay, so friends, here is our pot finally completed and this is how it looks. But this designing part is really incomplete yet. So I'll complete it. If your colors have gone out of its space, please do recorrect it using your same golden liner so that your mistakes won't look up and your pot will still look as beautiful as you. So here I'm going to do one thing is... I'll make few lines. Okay, and after making these lines, I'm going to make very small dots all over these lines. Okay, so in the same way, I'll make dots all over it and do the same design in this part and I'll show you how to it looks, okay? Yeah, friends, this is how our pot looks when it has got completed. I have kept it to get dry for at least 24 hours and then the lining part here once again so that the design would look really very beautiful. I'm going to place a candle inside it and I'm going to use it in really very different ways. Sometimes I'll be placing a candle inside it and using it as a candle holder because it will reflect different light and it, it is going to look really very beautiful when I'll do that. And I can also place a few flowers on it, use it as a flower vase. I can also use it as a lamp fixing this dia stand on it it is really a very pretty combination so please give it a try and tell me in the comments below how did you find this video and if you did like this video friends please do like and subscribe my channel thank you for watching